This next tutorial has been the most requested so far. Multiple people have been asking, can we modify the AI health? Can we do it to different types? And believe it or not, though there isn't technically a node for it within the AI categories, we can actually do this. So you're telling me there's a chance. There is a small catch though, at least as far as I've been able to tell. You can't increase the AI health beyond its maximum default health for the difficulty it's set to, but you can lower it and change it to anything in between one and the maximum. You can do it to a single AI, you can do it to all of them, a group of them, or adjust it for the different types. So let's get started. So for map setup, it really, there's not a whole lot to go on here either, uh, because most of the time you're gonna have your own stuff set up already. But for this example, I'm gonna set up an AI spawner back here. And I'm gonna set it up with the types we're going to be talking about. So there's going to be a grunt, an elite, a brute, a hunter, and a jackal. You can add more, but those are the ones I'm going to use for this example. So let me get this thing set up and we'll continue on. Okay, it's set up. The only thing that I really uh, changed was the team. They're going to be on my team at first so that way we can watch them walk into the zone because I'm going to set up a move zone so that way we have an event we have something that they can uh, get to so you can see it happening you can technically have it set up so that they just spawn with the amount of health but I want you to see it happen okay and we're going to name this just something random so floor that's all we got to do for that. Now we need to link it in this. There we go. Now they're going to move to floor when they spawn. And I already have my endless spawn script going so that way if they die, they can always respawn and we can keep this thing going. And that's it for map setup. Like I said, it's mainly I'm just setting it up for my own example because you probably already have your own map set up and you just have your own spawners and you just need something to happen in order to give them the set health that you want. So without anything else left to do, let's get into our scripting. All right, got ourselves our new script brain here. We're gonna go into the node graph and we're all blank. So we're gonna need an event to kick this off. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go down here to on squad arrived a specific zone and it's gonna be my zone right here. So that way the thing happens whenever they get here. We're not gonna set up any timers because this time we don't need them. So what happens whenever they get there? We're going to need to grab down here in logic a for each object node and we can go ahead and connect these two. And we're gonna have to get our objects from not this node actually. We're not going to worry about the squad because you want it to be all the units in the map. You want to make sure that everything gets affected. So we go up here to AI and we just get all AI units. Place it there and connect that to object. So now every AI in the map will be affected. It, and it doesn't have to be this way. You can select the certain ones but for this example right here I'm going to use all of them in the map because those are the only ones we're going to be watching so the next node we're going to grab is in AI advanced and it is at the very bottom and it's called is AI unit of species and this is just a very basic version a, a more simplified version of the node I used in a previous tutorial so if you watch that one about the different points you get for the different AIs you kill this is the same type of node as the compare character type it's just simplified for species only so that we don't have a lot of uh, extra room taken up so i'm going to place this here so that's our current object the current object that will spawn and it's going to check the ai unit and we're going to set this to grunt and we're going to repeat this process for each type that we have Okay, we've duplicated it five times for the five units we're going to have spawn, or five unit types, and we're going to change them accordingly. So the second one, we'll just have it as elite. This one will be brute. This one will be hunter. And this last one will be jack. 
Okay. Now we have our type set up. We need to go ahead and connect current object to the AI unit of each of these. Okay. So the next thing we have to use is a branch. It's, this is very similar to my last tutorial. And we're going to grab the branch and connect it to this, execute per object. And connect the is unit of species to the condition. So that way it's going to check if the AI that spawned just then was a grunt, then something happens. And here's where the fun begins. We go down here to the objects category. And towards the bottom, there's going to be one called set object health and set object health percent. I'm going to use percent because this is for exact numbers. You can kind of set it to whatever you want as long as the AI can reach the number you have set. It goes up to a thousand, I believe, but it doesn't, even though it goes to a thousand, it doesn't actually set the health to a thousand. It only go, it sets it up to the maximum if the maximum is less than a thousand. So like I said, it's unfortunate, but as far as I can tell, you can't change the AI's health above the default. So for this example, I'm going to use health percent. Because then you can change the percentage of the health remaining to whatever you want. And for the grunts, I'm going to change that down to uh, 10. And of course, the object will be connected to the same as the current object here. And then this one is done. Now, what if it's not a grunt? Well, you can see where we're probably going to end up going with this. If it's not a grunt, which false, it is not a grunt, then we check to see if it's an elite. And if it is, we set the health to, let's see, what do we want? Uh, the elite's going to go down to a quarter of its health. And we connect the object here. So I'm going to repeat this process for all the rest of these. I'm going to speed it up, but since it is the exact same process, we won't have to uh, we won't have to go through each one of them. Okay, so now that we've got that done, I haven't changed any of the numbers yet because that is something I did want to just show. For the brute, we're going to change that to, uh, let's see, 10% of his health. For the hunter, we're going to change this real low just to really show what's going on. We're going to change it to 2% of his max health. And for the jackal, I uh, will bring him down to 20. No, we're going to go up to 75 just so it kind of looks different. Up you know, to 75 of his max health. Okay. Now, when we spawn them, how do we tell that their health has changed? Because it won't give you, and it won't spit anything into the feed. You won't be able to look at them and tell. But there is a way to make it happen. What we're going to do, which this isn't technically something you have to use, uh, you can actually take it off so that way when you're in game, you can't actually see them. But we're going to go up here to the events AI and when an AI spawns, which is what on squad spawn is, we're going to make their health bars visible in AI modifiers. Go down here to set all health bars to visible and change that to true on the visible. Now when they spawn, you'll be able to see their health bars. And that means you'll also be able to see when they change. So it looks like we're ready to set this up and give it a test run. Node graph built successfully. So at least now we know that something probably went right. So let them move on in here. And notice their healths are all full. Ah, there we go, they changed. If you notice they are regenerating health, this only really happens because they haven't been damaged yet. And so they slowly regenerate health up to about 75%, I believe. Because that's what it looks like. The hunter does not though. What's weird is you actually can't team kill a hunter. So let's set them to the opposite team and see what happens. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna see what they do now that they're going to try to shoot us. Okay, so they've all reached it. Oof. <laughs> Notice if you damage them, they stop regenerating their health. Oh boy. My favorite one's gonna be the hunter. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. Now, you can kinda just shoot him with any weapon, wherever, and he's treated just like all the others. So yeah, if you shoot them at all, then their health stops regenerating. So what if you don't want them to have to move to a move zone? Well, that's pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the move zone there. And so that way they run out here at least. But we're going to unlink it and we're going to give it a different event to trigger all of this. So we'll get rid of this and get rid of that. We're going to duplicate the on squad spawn. And go ahead and hook that bad boy up right there. Now when they spawn, the moment they spawn, their health will be adjusted. Let's give it a look. There they go. Regeneration does seem to be a problem, but I think I've got a workaround for that. So that's how you set up how to change the different AI types and their health. And you can technically do it for just one type of uh, unit if you wanted to, or one specific character type, because if you, could use, if you wanted to use that other node, which is over here in Logic Compare, Compare Character Type, and like I said, it functions pretty much identically to this node. It just adds the ability to uh, check the exact type of, uh, let's say, exact type of elite. So you can set an elite enforcer to have one health or something, and then you can have the elite warlord to have 100% uh, of its health or 75% of its health and so on. So there you have it. The ability to adjust the health of any AI unit you spawn. It may not be perfect yet without being able to raise their health above the default and all, but this is a start. You can use the set object health nodes for more specific situations like setting just a single AI that you want to have a certain amount of health or just an entire group or you know like I said all of them. But this, th that's the nodes and that's how they interact with AI. I hope this helped and of course I'll be back again soon with another one.